Oh my god, it's an empty box of nothing. Big Baller Brand has scammed me. In the email, it says basically your order is gonna be delayed. They messaged me back and they basically said there's another delay and the shoes won't ship until July. July? How do you go from March to May to July? What's next? Hopefully the shoes do arrive. When they do arrive, I'll give you guys an update. But as of right now, I, per I got scammed. Bruh. It is finally here after months and months and months of waiting. I received the package a few, maybe like two, three weeks ago. And honestly, when they came, I really didn't give a damn. Like I didn't even open up the box right away. I just threw it because I knew what it was. And I said, I don't care about these. But the reason why I'm actually making this video now is because literally today, Lonzo did a podcast where he talks about how bad this shoe is. I'm going to pull it up on my phone. Where's my phone at? That was a real story about them shoes. Those ZO2s I was playing in, they was not ready. <laughs> they were? Really? No one knows it, but Dima wore a pair of shoes in there because I had to switch them every quarter. So they were just ripped. I mean, that's if I had to You said the say, shoes like, ripped. First two games, like the real truth is like, yo, you heard shoes just wasn't ready. <laughs> so I'm like, like if you literally have my shoes from those games, like they're just like exploded, bro. Why, uh, why did you, why did you wear them? Just because you guys had like, Cause they're my shoes. And like, you're like, <laughs> I had, I had to debut on like, like, we are, <laughs> we are, we are, <laughs> sir, <laughs> cool, I can, I can get a quarter in, but that's it. We gotta switch them every quarter. And it's crazy, because right when I switched my shoes and all of a sudden, magically, I got good again. It was just, you know, I was like. <laughs> so basically what he's saying is that these shoes suck. And that makes sense because they kept delaying production on the shoe because there was manufacturing problems. In reality, the shoe was trash. They didn't want to send anybody a shoe that was literally going to fall apart and rip while you're playing in it. Well, after months of delaying and I guess improving it, the shoe is finally here. But honestly, I think it's the same damn thing. I think they just didn't want to send people bullshit product and they finally shipped it out basically it's two hundred dollars down the drain this is literally a waste of money and i wish they never actually sent it i wish they just refunded everybody who ordered it because i'm not the only victim here there's a lot of people who ordered it basically if you watched my other video where i talked about them not sending me the shoes they promised a hoodie and this was the hoodie that they sent with it and honestly i thought it was just going to be a regular big baller brand hoodie this literally just says lonzo ball in cursive like <laughs> I'll never wear this. So shout out to Lonzo Ball. Is it gilded? It's not gilded. It's actually the big baller brand. Like it has the Lonzo logo right there and whatnot. So it is actually their hoodie. But it's like I'm not going to wear a Lonzo Ball hoodie like that. Like, And it's foil printed. So this is going to come off when you wash it. But look, I got nothing but respect for Lonzo Ball. I've met him. I met him at the Cool Kicks party. I said what's up to him. And he was totally cool. Like I'm not trying to bash him at all. Like I got so much respect for him. But I'm a sneaker guy. I make sneaker videos. I ordered the shoe i'm gonna try to make my money back with this video so here are the shoes finally they have arrived and there they are so basically guys i'm honestly a fan of how these look i'm a fan of the colorway but this shoe this shoe is too light. You cannot play basketball in this shoe. The ankle support and the usually when it comes to rolling your ankle, the lockdown right here is what prevents your ankle from rolling. This is like paper thin. Like this is like literally this feels like tennis ball material. Like there's no way you can play basketball in this and feel safe. The shoe itself, it like I said, it looks good. I like the colorway. You want your basketball shoes to be light. You don't want to be playing in bricks, but this is too light like this is like to the point where you like you might feel like you're playing in socks like this knitted cheap material right here tongue is cool i guess it's whatever let me take these inserts out okay this is the insert this is literally like a cheap cheap ass foam like this is definitely not what you see in Nikes and Adidas and whatnot. Like this does not add any extra protection. Really bad. Usually when you when you feel the inside of a shoe, you can feel a little bit of bounce. Like this just feels like, like a pair of Converse. Like this is really bad. This is not worth $200. I wouldn't even say these are worth $20. Like these shoes are really bad, man. Lonzo co-signed that these shoes are bad. So I'm like, he even bashed his shoe. So at this point, I don't even feel bad doing it because he did it. But if you bought these shoes, I really, highly recommend you do not play basketball in these just stay healthy man stay safe you gotta play in some shoes that you know is gonna be very comfortable and that you know is gonna be great for your performance and how you play this shoe just to me it's it's literally 
a walking injury. Like you might injure yourself putting these bad boys on. That's how bad it is, man. So basically at the end of the day, after months of waiting, I feel like we got scammed and they gave us a product that didn't live up to par. It didn't live up to the hype. It didn't live up to the price point. And to be honest with you, I don't even know what I wanted. I wouldn't even want to give these away to anybody because I don't want anybody to get hurt. Like I don't even want to do a giveaway on these shoes. I guess it's my job though to put them on my feet, test them out. I can sit here and talk about them and how I think they're not going to be good for basketball. I mean, Lonzo pretty much told you guys they're not good for basketball, but I'm going to put them on my feet and test them out for you. So let's go to the park. Even though my ankle is already injured, as you can see, I'm icing it right now. I'm just going to do some light shooting around and um, let's see if these actually rip. drills just trying to get the shoe to be a little active and uh, honestly feels like I'm playing in some Costco sneakers man feels like I'm playing in a pair of shoes that aren't made for basketball so I've been kind of cautious just because like I do have my ankle injury but honestly I would never in my life risk playing in these in a real game they just don't feel good yeah I'm just shooting around trying to see Obviously, when Lonzo plays, he's playing at the highest level. So he's playing in real NBA games. So if his shoes are ripping up during the real games, it's not going to happen out here. But don't expect that. We're not going to fake that. So, yeah, we're just shooting around and just trying to get a feel for it. I can get a feel for a shoe if I just shoot around whether or not it's a good shoe. I'll probably give this like a 3 out of 10. You know what I'm saying? Real ballers still get buckets no matter what. Oh. You know how there's always that old guy on the court who just comes and balls with the youngins wearing like the the st like the starter shoes or those $50 Nikes? That's what I feel like. I feel like I have the old man basketball shoes on. I should just play like Lonzo. That's how he shoots, huh? It's weird. This will be the final chapter in my issues with Big Baller Brand. I will never make another purchase from them. I'm never going to be wearing these shoes again. Hopefully Lonzo signs with like Nike or somewhere where he'll actually be able to perform to his uh, standard and ball out, man. Good luck to him on the Pelicans. If oh my God, he's in the Pelicans. Yeah, he's on the Pelicans, he's not even oh on the Lakers. Oh my God, I forgot. Hopefully this is the year where he can show like, okay, I'm somebody in this league. So like I said, I got nothing but respect for him. I just don't like to see people paying and getting scammed and getting a sh product man so if you're one of the people man hopefully there's something you can do with the shoes i don't recommend playing basketball in them but yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do with these i might just leave these here hopefully somebody picks them up or something or just give these away or something even though i don't want to give them away but whatever thank you guys for watching hit that thumbs up guys i appreciate you guys if you're new here subscribe papa q signing out i gotta make this now You made it. Yeah. You let me make a three for the camera. If you make the three, you can have the damn shoes. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm not running after that. And that's where we end the video. Dream crew, dream crew, dream crew. They just want to do it how we do. Living my life like the Beatles. I just pulled up with some lethal. They getting mad and deceitful. I make it hard to be peaceful. They tell me I got an ego, but I'm putting up for my people.